I'm Harrison Keeley. Here's what you need to know today. First, if it seems like Chattanooga highways are clogged with trucks, it's not your imagination. Chattanooga now ranks number one in the nation for truck traffic, according to a new study from Cambridge Systematics. 80% of freight traveling through Chattanooga is for delivery somewhere else, and officials say things are on course to get worse. The key reason is that Chattanooga is a crossroad city. Three interstates, 75, 59, and 24, connect here. That means more than 20,000 trucks a day just driving through, causing more congestion, crashes, and pollution. The biggest proposed solution is a regional beltway, but the 200-mile loop would likely cost hundreds of millions of dollars. Former Ridgeland High School football coach Mark Mariakis has a new job. After 11 seasons at Ridgeland, he's crossing the state line to work for Chattanooga Christian School. Mariakis will be an assistant for Chargers head coach Rob Spence. He says it feels like a breath of fresh air knowing that he can now share his faith with players and students. City Cafe plans to open its third location. The 24-hour restaurant will soon open a diner in Cleveland. City Cafe bought the former Yummy Sushi restaurant on 25th Street, and it's currently being renovated. The new Cleveland location is expected to open the first week of April. City Cafe also plans to open a diner in downtown Nashville within the next year. Bojangles is returning to Red Bank. Construction will begin soon on a new restaurant on the south end of Dayton Boulevard. The chain had operated a location in the town for many years before it closed some time ago. It'll be Bojangles' seventh location in the Chattanooga area. It turns out the grocery bar is going back to being a grocery store. Managing partner Sam Turner says the store will be renovated yet again. The cafe will stay, but in a reduced form. Turner says the recent fire sale was a plan to empty the shelves and start over with a blank canvas. A new order of groceries should arrive later this week and will include more regular items. The store plans to remain open during the renovation. The Chattanooga Airport plans to add hundreds more parking spaces. Airport President Terry Hart says the expansion is critical. Plans are being made to tear down Hangar 3 to make room for 300 more parking spots. Officials say the hangar is more than 60 years old and requires too much maintenance. There are also plans to offer covered walkways to customers. The new parking is expected to be ready this fall. Tennessee Governor Bill Haslam wants to end longevity pay for state workers. Right now, the plan gives workers $100 for each year of service atop their base salaries. The payments reportedly cost the state more than $30 million a year. But lawmakers say ending longevity pay will be a tough sell in the legislature. The Bradley County Commission is expected to vote today whether to make a public statement of support for Johnny McDaniel. The school board has proposed buying out the superintendent's contract over differing opinions. But a petition to retain McDaniel has gathered more than 1,400 signatures. The school board is expected to vote on the buyout February 24th. Finally, you may have noticed a star being placed on a hillside near the Signal Mountain Road exit on Highway 27. The seven-pointed star is the same one featured on the seal of the Cherokee Nation. Alex Roberts, who is part Cherokee, says it's a nod to his great-great-grandmother. After spending $11,000 to build it, he hopes it will add some unique decoration to an otherwise ugly hillside. Turning to weather, today will be sunny with a high near 35 degrees. The low tonight will be around 22. That's it for today's news. Thanks for being with us. You can find more on these stories and breaking news all day long at timesfreepress.com.